Tired of dealing with annoying flies, fruit flies, and gnats in your home? The Zevo Flying Insect Trap is your ultimate solution. Don't wait. Check out the link in the video description now to get your Zevo Flying Insect Trap on Amazon and enjoy a bug-free home today. Ministers will consider banning the English Defense League following riots on the streets of Southport, Angela Rayner suggested today. The deputy PM said the government will look at various different groups amid widespread condemnation of violence that broke out after the horrific knife attack on children at a Taylor Swift-themed dance class. Angry politicians have blamed lies and propaganda on social media for igniting the chaos, while heartbroken Southport families have accused hoodlums of showing no respect to a town that is grieving. Tributes have poured in for the three girls killed who police yesterday named as six-year-old B.B. King, seven-year-old Elsie Dot Stankum and nine-year-old Alice De Silva Aguiar. Eight other children suffered stab wounds at the summer holiday dance workshop. Five are in a critical condition, alongside two women who were also critically injured as they bravely tried to save the children. But the rioting erupted barely an hour after thousands of mourners had gathered for a vigil to remember the victims. Asked during an interview on LBC whether the EDL's activities would be curbed, Ms. Rayner said, We have laws and we have prescribed groups and we do look at that and it is reviewed regularly. So I'm sure that that will be something that the Home Secretary will be looking at as part of the normal course of what we do and the intelligence that we have. Ms. Rayner added, The inciting of violence and violence on the street has absolutely no place in our democracy and we have to crack down on those that perpetuate violence and spread it within our communities. However, she said the bigger issue is about taking on the minority of people that have got thuggish behavior, that actually that's not our British values. Merseyside's police and crime commissioner Emily Spurl said there is a strong feeling that members of the EDL used the Southport stabbing to whip up hatred. Ms. Spurl told ITV's Good Morning Britain that the violence and abuse towards police officers on Tuesday was utterly abhorrent and completely unacceptable. She said, Merseyside Police will be reviewing the footage of exactly who was there last night, they have been monitoring the online activity as well, trying to understand who was doing what. They have said that they believe it was members of the English Defence League, EDL, they don't believe it was individuals from the local area. There is a strong feeling that there are individuals like the EDL who have been using this incredibly tragic event to whip up hatred, incite violence, and that's the result of what we saw last night. Scotland's former First Minister Hamza Yousaf has called for the EDL to be banned under terror laws in the wake of the unrest, despite former leader Tommy Robinson's insistence that the group no longer exists. Here Starmer has insisted those responsible for the rioting should face the full force of the law after a police van was torched and several officers injured. On St. Luke's Street near the vigil, rioters chanting English till I die surrounded the Southport Mosque and Islamic Cultural Center and began hurling rubble at police officers who had formed a protective line around the building. The violence appears to have been fueled by false claims online that the suspect was an asylum seeker who had arrived in the UK by boat. The 17-year-old boy, who remains in custody accused of murder and attempted murder, is originally from Cardiff but now lives in the nearby Lancashire village of Banks. Merseyside police said 22 of its officers were injured after clashes broke out in the seaside town. Writing on X, Sir Keir said, The people of Southport are reeling after the horror inflicted on them yesterday. They deserve our support and our respect. Those who have hijacked the vigil for the victims with violence and thuggery have insulted the community as it grieves. Home Secretary Yvette Cooper said scenes of thuggery on the streets of Southport bear no relation to the community which had been coming together. She told broadcasters, I think everyone should be showing some respect for the community that is grieving and also for the police who are pursuing an urgent criminal investigation now, and who showed such heroism and bravery yesterday in the face of these horrific attacks. I think everyone needs to support the poll.